it's confusing because you're trying to you know like be fun but at the same time it's like you know it's like uh, how do I or what do I say you know like things like that uh, anyways that's what it was like for me I might make Hey family, how are you guys doing today? So I am so excited to be shooting this video finally back on YouTube. Um, feeling excited. You know, do you guys, you know what's weird? I usually, like up until now, I've always felt like I've had questions as to how I should be or, or how I should speak like when I'm making these videos for you guys or when I'm talking to a camera essentially feeling kind of like you know just nervous about all that and um, I just had my birthday in June and I don't know if it's a matter of like age and like as the older you get the less <laughs> craps you give or something but I'm like at a point where I was like I really don't give a crap I'm just gonna do whatever I want to do and just gonna be myself and, and, and just do what I want and uh, that's it so I think it might be a thing where it's like I mean you just get uh, so comfortable in that it's just so much easier just to be yourself as opposed to actually trying to portray a personality that you're actually not which takes so much effort I digress if you guys haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button to become a part of the Mayday family I'm excited to have you guys today um, and again I haven't made a video in forever so I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys okay so I just graduated <laughs> I just graduated with my graduate degree this year and um, honestly I you know since I graduated I've, I've just had a lot more time to do a lot more things that I'm really really excited about so I'm not a financial advisor by any means. I made a video prior to this one just based on like when I was younger, how I was making money when I was living at home. Because when I was living at home, I actually um, was not able to work, but I was going to school for my bachelor's degree and uh, I needed money and my mom wouldn't give me any money. It was so frustrating. So I had to find a way to make money for myself. I moved out when I was like 20. 23 or something like that but um uh i feel like just in that somewhat short period of time uh so in that like five or six year span a lot has changed so trying to make sales off of ebay for example which was like my primary source of income is almost impossible at this point it's like nothing but spammers like I went back a couple of weeks ago to, to kind of see what that would be like if I wanted to generate income in that way again and it's like nothing but spam I don't even I don't even F with eBay anymore because I just can't deal with it and then it's impossible to get on with Amazon because you either got on when it first started on and you've built your business since then or you are some big organization or something like that and so they ask you for all this paperwork and it's just not worth it no thanks I will remain on the customer side of Amazon I am perfectly happy with the service that I receive but I will not be a seller on Amazon so how I have managed to make a diversified income stream that brings me approximately ten thousand a little bit over ten thousand dollars a month I will say this before saying anything else right so I still work in corporate so I do still have a full-time job and what I'm working on right now is going from having a full-time job to freedom to not having to sit in a nine to five office just to make ends meet because I have other things that I want to do with my life and it's just things that I want to experience and so I'm trying to build my passive income to a point where I don't have to do that right like I just I have enough coming in through passive income to where I can spend all of my time looking for or working on more passive income streams you know and not being stuck in a, at a nine to five job uh, which is gruesome right uh, at least for a personality like mine so I will say that so the first and number one way uh, that uh, I make uh, my ten thousand plus uh, dollar uh, income on a monthly basis right now is through my corporate job my full-time uh, job which brings in 
on a monthly basis a little bit around five thousand dollars so right now that is kind of like half of where it comes from and like the other half is through passive income streams that I've been working on for some time and I continue to work on, on and grow uh, so that at a point I can definitely leave more be more comfortable with leaving the the full-time nine to five and knowing that I still have income coming in and I can be comfortable and live the lifestyle that I would like to lead right so five thousand dollars out of that ten thousand dollars right off the bat I do have a full-time job so this might resonate more with people that have a full-time job and you know would much rather have passive income and would much rather uh, work towards that in order to be free I honestly I really honestly see it as freedom it's like it's almost like being caged to me um, it's almost like I don't want to compare it to being in jail but in its own way uh, so it's working towards that freedom so that's how I get five thousand dollars out of my uh, ten thousand uh, one hundred dollars monthly right so that's the number one way as you can see that's half of it right now and I will make other videos as I progress along and when I actually finally do leave that full-time um, job and where I'm at but so you guys will definitely be a part of that journey with me my second income re revenue stream which will most likely take the place of my first one which is currently my corporate job is through uh, my counseling and my psychologist uh, degree or licensing right so I just mentioned earlier in the video that I just graduated with my master's and so with that I, I not only I not only get my master's degree I also get my licensing in counseling so I'm a counselor and I also get my licensing in psychology so a psychologist right so with that I get to build a, a pipeline of um, clients that I see and I work with and I get to manage my own schedule around that right so I can pick when during the day and what days I want to see clients and I get to like bill them accordingly depending on whatever my rates might be and uh, I get to just kind of make that into uh, a good portion of my monthly revenue income stream uh, as opposed to my current number one which is the corporate role which gives me a lot more flexibility and a lot more freedom to not just have like my own office and kind of uh, be able to manage my own time more in the way that I want to and be able to be outside more and work on more and other income streams and uh, travel or just do things that I want to do at some point in time uh, but it just kind of gives me another level of freedom if that makes sense so that's the second way so right now with the number of clients um, that I build up uh, on a monthly basis that accounts for around 2000 of my monthly revenue stream so you got to think about it like this for each one of my clients I charge uh, I would charge at least a hundred dollars per client that I see for one hour right so if I see like a handful of clients a week if I work part-time or if I see like 10 clients that's about a thousand dollars so right now because most of my time is being occupied by the corporate full-time job I don't get to invest as much time in that as I potentially could which is fine because there's a there's a certain balance with doing counselor work and being a psychologist in that um, I don't anticipate doing that full-time because of my own mental well-being <laughs> you know so I only anticipate for the most part I'm building that to where I can have a good amount of my monthly income coming from that so I'm shooting for around maybe three thousand dollars a month coming from seeing clients but not doing it full-time literally uh, $3,000 a month would mean that I I mean I'm see I'm doing it part-time and maybe doing like 10 hours a week for three weeks but then I have four weeks in the month so that's what I would be doing that's what I anticipate doing and then I have the rest of my time to kind of 
chill out and do what I want to do with that. So right now I'm at $2,000 approximately a month of my monthly revenue coming from that. Uh, so those licenses are very useful, were very useful to me for that. And not only that, psychology, counseling, those are things that I'm really passionate about. So it's kind of taken me some time to um, gather up the resources that I need to actually charge, um, you know, like what I would need to charge to be in the income level that I would want to be and things like that. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited to continue to grow that that uh, revenue stream so I will keep you guys updated uh, because I do still have pick some paperwork to do some approvals to do so each level of that process um, the the more I get accomplished uh, the more I'm able to capitalize off of that revenue stream if that makes sense so my third revenue stream uh, on a monthly basis is, is, is it's an interesting thing right like I feel I feel like you guys would be like where did that come from so um, it's actually quite interesting and I actually really enjoy doing it I, I just started this uh, this this year this year yes this year so my third income stream or monthly income stream I make at least as of right now a thousand dollars a month from it is two row yes the two row app so as of right now, I so I do this thing where it's uh, I don't own a rental car company, right? But um, I have cars that I can rent out. That is not my car. My primary car is my car, and I need a car, so um, I don't rent that out. But I have like other cars that I have purchased specifically for the purpose of being able to either rent them out or flip them and sell them for a higher price than which I purchased them for. So that is the my third income uh, revenue source and it's quickly becoming um, something that I invest quite a bit of time into as of right now to get it started, uh, but also something that is able to show me quick returns, right? Unlike some of the things that I mentioned, like my corporate role you get paid every two weeks that's to me it's not as quick of a return but it, you know you that's a stability thing right or my psychology and counseling licenses um, those things took time I was in school for a couple of years to get that and as of right now I just started it this year I mentioned to you guys as of right now that accounts for around a thousand dollars a month of my income stream yeah so I think that it's working out pretty great I'm still um, so let me tell you guys where I'm at with it I have two cars currently that I am able to rent out um, and that's not including my car so I have three cars in total as of right now I do have like a growth plan for it my plan is to eventually grow out of the two row app because from working at like working with eBay in my younger years one thing that I know for a fact is that being underneath uh, or basically being able being at like the whim of like another company in any shape or form is not the best way to it's not it's just not the best it's just not the best option right like so for example if you're on eBay or on any of these platforms even on Amazon like you could wake up tomorrow and bam you have no account because they felt like oh maybe someone tried to hack into your account or maybe they felt like you were doing something that they didn't agree with and they closed your account and just like that you lost a thousand dollars a month of continuous revenue stream that you used to have so being at the whim of these companies to me is just not the best just not the best choice and so I learned that very very early on from my days of working with eBay so the growth plan for the for my just the endeavors that I'm I'm taking in right now through the rental cars that I'm doing is I not only have them rented I also they're also for sale so like it, it it's it's flipping cars is what it is so I mean if if someone is in need of the the cars I, I get them I fix them up right so uh, if someone wants to buy them I sell it and then I go and I get um, a less a, a car that costs less 
fix them and, and, and sell them. Either that or rent, rent them out so they're making weekly income uh, to rotate on a weekly basis. But the growth plan for that is every year to add a couple of cars to, to create a more comprehensive fleet, basically for myself, and then to grow out of the two row, two row app. So essentially I'd have to start marketing a little bit quite a bit earlier before getting to that point, but getting to the point of where people know about it enough to where if I end up just having six cars or um, just being someone that's known for dealing in that or tapping in that um, arena of cars and things like that, I don't have to rely on the two row app for, to generate that income source and that income source will um, inevitably become a lot larger than what it is now the thousand dollars so that's the thought behind it of course there's a lot more that goes into it and a lot more detail but just from a general overview that's the plan right so don't get stuck in like oh you know I want to work with I mean not necessarily like oh, I want to work on this eBay thing or whatever like I've never liked those platforms necessarily like being there too long um, you're too much at the whim you could lose you just have too much to lose like you think of stores that might have been selling on eBay for several several years and they wake up one day and their shit is all gone excuse my French but you know what I'm saying like it's just you just have too much to lose and not enough leverage to me and I don't like operating like that so I work really hard and it takes time it takes actually this is gonna take a number of years right so these aren't like things that will happen right off the bat this is like a two three year plan things like that that I have to continuously work on the site my psychology the corporate role transitioning all of that it's ongoing so um, all to get to the point of where these are truly passive income streams and um, you know but that's just gonna come from the work that I put in on the back end so that accounts for about a thousand dollars now and growing especially as I add um, cars to, to to make a more comprehensive uh, uh, fleet and uh, do a lot more marketing around that my fourth income revenue stream that accounts for about two thousand dollars a month as of right now coming in to my pocket um, is real estate uh, I don't know what it is about real estate but I can't leave it alone <laughs> I've always wanted to no nope, I nope can't leave it alone I've always wanted to be in real estate involved in real estate and I finally have had the opportunity to just start this year so I'm really excited there's a lot of things I'm having the opportunity to start this year with having graduated um, and so I'm really excited about that but uh, it, it's real estate and so uh, I do have uh, my uh, real estate license um, now I'm not such a brave soul as to dive into real estate full time knowing that it really is one of those things where if you don't make money you just don't make money right and so sometimes people aren't buying houses you know so are you able to go a month with no income are you able to go two months with no income it pays it more than pays off but real estate is one of those things that if you're going to be a real estate agent it takes time a lot of time to to build that up and I would encourage like I feel like it's a good game it's a good it's a good game for young people to to dive into to play so if you're getting your bachelor's you still live alone or, I'm sorry you still live at home and things like that like I wish I would have dived into it at that point in time because I'd be set right now right so I think that is a good point to start the real estate game because as you build up your name you build up the word of mouth you can just kind of build something that literally runs off of word of mouth and referrals and you don't have to necessarily stress out about you know the marketing and all of these things to, to get a sale uh, and then you you build your savings also it's, it's essential because you could have months where you don't get paid so I think that's a really that's a like a really young people's game but anyone can do it to be honest if you if that's the direction you want to go but so I got my real estate license and so right now what I do is I actually it's it's actually quite interesting I actually um, I'm sub subscribed with a couple of real estate uh, companies as an agent associate basically so what I do is I'm able to block out my calendars and leave open times so as people want to go in and take a look at houses I go in so I'm not the agent on it or anything like that I go in and I help the people look through houses which 
A lot of times it's like a couple of minutes, they might have multiple houses that they want to see, things like that, because I'm licensed and able to do that, and I get paid for every showing that I do. Not only that, being a licensed real estate agent, I can plan for um, maybe an additional couple of thousand dollars a year, depending on if I'm able to sell two or three houses that year or something like that, which would account for even more income um, and revenue stream that I could put into my savings. And then later on, if I wanna do something or if I wanna grow, which I probably will want to um, from an investment standpoint, investing in real estate is, is really almost like the best thing you could invest in is real estate. So um, working towards having some investments in that arena once I learn a lot more about it. So that's kind of what I do right now. So that kind of accounts for about $2,000 of my uh, monthly uh, income revenue stream. Uh, it's it's very enlightening and it's one of those things that also gives you the freedom that you would that that I would be looking for it's definitely a step up from being like in a nine to five you know you manage your own schedule and if you're available to show houses you put that in your calendar if you're not you block out your calendar and um, and then you can also work on you know selling houses without the pressure of not having income to, to pay the bills and things like that so it's really really awesome and I get to work on building that and over the years that pays off like in folds right because as people start to know and things like that then my job becomes just a hell of a lot easier and I, I'm able to make even more profit after that so it's not just thinking for now but also thinking for the short term and also for the long term as well and my fifth income revenue stream this one is a little bit more conservative I don't spend as much time doing it um, but you know it's it's pretty fun I mean every now and then like if I have like if I'm just sitting there like I'll log in through the app and that is I have a Vanguard account and I have the Robin Hood app right so I'm able to actually uh, invest in certain stocks and things like that just from literally anywhere that I'm sitting in and so I do make some money from doing those investments on my free time and so that doesn't really account for as much on a monthly basis to be honest with you because those are investments and because I don't spend every day doing it there's a lot of times more long-term investments where I place limit sells or I place limit buys on stocks and things like that so on a monthly basis that fluctuates right so that could be a hundred one month that could be 300 on a different month but it's really really cool because it's income that I actually don't draw from so on top of the on top of the interest that I'm making that interest then becomes money that I'm able to make more interest off of so that's just something that I like to do because I like diversified income streams so I, those are the two main avenues that I use when it comes to picking certain stocks because there are certain stocks that I'm interested in at different points in time and that I like to purchase and then I might sell later or I might keep for um, dividends, right? So I do do that in the two, um, er, the, the two platforms that I use for that is Vanguard and I, and I use the Robinhood app. So those are my those are my five income income sources and how I how I make uh, a little bit over ten thousand dollars a month as of right now. I will continue to post videos and update videos and things like that, so you guys can see how I progress and be a part of me uh, <laughs> and be with me, uh, uh, you know, throughout my journey in that aspect as well. Keep looking up because that's where it all is. I missed you guys very much. And I'm excited to be back on YouTube and just doing other things other than like studying and, and stuff. Oh, like. <laughs> so if you guys want to see something, definitely let me know. Please leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.